Bliss's Bay. Yeah, well, that's the so that's big money investments around around here. Don't need the food. I mean, could get the food. Here's the dock. I'm about trying to find a way on board. I have a pretty good chance of making progress now. So I guess that's what I can poke at for a bit. That I need to make money and I need to get across the thingy. Just in general. Not gonna lie, looking forward to be done with that place just so I don't have to ride the elevator anymore. <laughs> it's like, it's just one click, but it's enough to be, eh, go away. Cat. One last time with three dice and then I'll replenish. I do not want to have less than three dice, please. Do, 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 do. Deal with this real quick. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, this isn't the place for you. You buy noodles? Just throw one of these away. You can't. Isn't the, even negative outcome still gives you food, doesn't it? And I got a neutral outcome. There you go. I basically don't have to pay money anymore. Let's see. Wanna go across? The five would be good for my nonsense. We love to see 100% positives. Okay, reroll. A. It's amazing how quickly some tasks can be completed after you put them off for a while. And you're like, well, I rolled every possible good outcome. Caster. Quite the achievement, isn't she? Sender Celis must be proud. You recognize the resonating voice of, of Caster immediately and turn to see him, hooded and tucked into the shadows near the viewing platform. Caster. I see you remember our game. Good. He looks around, but the platform is clear. I'm afraid you'll have to wait for a rematch. Microgravity makes Tavla a bit difficult. He smiles broadly. Caster walks out to stand beside you on the platform. The telltale clunk of magnetic boots accompanies his slow crossing. He notices you looking at them. I don't much like it up here. He explains. I hear there was, some, there was some trouble at the Havenage shipyard when they announced the results of the crew lottery. They screwed us. I know. He sighs, meeting your eye. An ugly business. See, this are too used to the way things work in the core. Exploitation is the only logic they know. He gestures out at the sidereal. You know why they build this monstrosity in the eye? Control. Certainly. There is no corporate oversight out here. But that's not all. He stares at the pristine yellow hole. Celis built it here, says Castor gravely, because they didn't want anyone to know it exists. He rubs his forehead. And secrecy is something I cannot abide. He turns to face you. There are people being loaded onto that ship as we speak. Sleeping people. Locked in cryosleep like the person that you were emulated from. There are hundreds of them. And Celis wants to send them out to a planet at the edge of the settled systems without anyone knowing where it is. But you, sleeper, can do something about that. You are like me. You deal with data. You can read it right out of the air. 
with someone like you on that ship, secrecy isn't a problem. You can ping back whatever I need, whenever I need it, as long as you are on board. With you on the sidereal, and with some minor modifications, he pauses, you can be my eyes and ears. I will keep track of Celis's grand project through you. In short, says Castor, stretching, I can get you aboard, sleeper, but I'm going to need you to help me. Who are you? I am a concerned party. Someone who likes to know what is happening when it is, when it is happening, not afterwards. It's not just me. Yes, your friend, Lem. That can be arranged. It is difficult, but not impossible. The condition is, of course, that you go too. Caster clunks closer to the window, watching the tugs wheeling around the sidereal. It's a simple offer, and the only one that, that will get you on that ship. Please consider it. He turns back, silhouetted against the ship. But to make it happen, I need your assistance. As I said, there is a Sealess Foundation ship docked in the now empty shipyard. I need the data from its servers. This will allow me to produce the IDs nece necessary for your transit. Caster looks over his glasses at you. Sealess aren't stupid, though. Their ship is totally isolated from the station. You'll need to get on board if you want access to their airwalled servers. Once you have the idea, meet me at your friend's unit, so we can give him a good news. He smiles. I noticed his importance to you, and the little one. So cute. You don't extract the data before the sidereal horizon leaves the hub, then I will get the message. We have other options, but you are certainly my preferred one. But be sure when you act, sleeper. Once you take the data from Celis, you'll set off a series of events that will likely be hard for you to untangle yourself from. Either way, I recommend you stop asking around up here. You're bringing a lot of attention to yourself. Caster glances around, as if to emphasize his point. There are only a handful of cycles until departure, sleeper. Make your decision. With that, Caster marches back off the platform, the sound of his mag boots fading away, leaving you to contemplate the serial horizon and the part it may play in your future. Is there a timer now? There is. Eight days. Well, that's high stakes, isn't it? <laughs> Curious about that. Gotta make money for several reasons, though. God, there's so much stuff to keep track of. Okay, so that's money. Spores. Mushroom. Tracking. Steel sealess data. I think we might be... Steal the sealess data. I think we're done. We pretty much need to get across the greenway at this point. Unless I'm missing something. It gets really convoluted at some point when you just have so many objectives and so many targets and you can't like label things to be like, here's, here's the series of places you want to keep checking in on. So at some point you're like, oh my god, there's so many places, help. These are all chances of selling things. Or buying a core if you need it. Yeah, I think it's time to go across. Again, I mean, because I've been here a little bit. But just enough to trigger that one encounter? The green way. Map the pathways and walk the greenway. Map the pathways. Rather than simply thrash through the undergrowth, you might sketch a map of this undergrown jungle to try to better navigate its hazards. Walk the greenway. 
The simplest way to explore the Greenway is simply to pick a path and set off into its twisted chambers and passages. This carries obvious risks. Going green. Exploring the Greenway is unlike any other place on the eye. Its overgrown chambers defy mapping. Except for the mapping I'm going to do. <laughs> Wait, I'm out of dice. Womp womp. Got distracted by the conversation, I guess. Uh, so go here to home, but then use the stabilizer first. Feed kitty kitty. Okay, let's make sense of this place. Should be able to avoid the downside here, and this has a larger going green bonus. So I can do this in only two turns with these. Big rolls! There we go. Now we're all full up on whatever it gave me. New drive discovered. What? Which one? You could at least tell me which one's new. I gotta like look through into the it's onto the greenway. Maybe. Grow mushrooms. Through the aviary. Maybe that's the one. I think it's new. The aviary would be a perfect place to grow mushrooms with some work that is. Okay, I think that's the newest one. It doesn't even highlight it, so you're just like, oh fuck, on this giant list of names, one of them's not wasn't there before. Farm stacks. That's a lot of energy! Wow! That's a lot of energy if you get a good outcome. Just your whole meter in one go. Oh, steal the harvest. That seems not great. Well, from who, I guess? Steal the harvest. There's loads of food here. Why should these farmers keep it to themselves? If you can do it quick, they might not even notice it's gone. Thief. If you get caught stealing, there's no way you'll be able to work in the stacks. It's as simple as that. Hmm. So huge bonus, but you can get completely rejected from this thing. That's a, it's bait. Work the stacks. Some farm stacks from the old station have survived, and the farmers that work them are always looking for new workers. They pay by yield. Still not that much money though, huh? Sixteen. Barter for food. So you can spend the money on food. The honest way. I don't see a progress thing here though. Could grind for money because there's uses for money, but not a. There's not like a, a story progression thing. The mushroom groves. I do need caps, right? So Tala needs spores, and somebody else needs caps. I don't remember how many though. I'm gonna double check just so I don't go wasting my time. Here's the stall. He needs 3G roll. That's the longest objective I've had out of all of them. It's been waiting a long time. And how many spores? Three spores. That, that's three, it's one spore three times, and this is three caps one time? Okay. They're a little different in how they're presented, but the same number. Hmm. Why is fungus dangerous? Hmm. Hey, good outcome. Bonus energy. Let's not waste the bonus energy necessarily. I'll risk it here. 
All right. Reroll. Same fucking number. Uh, I can lose energy. Hope not. Okay. I wish I could just scroll across. I don't know why it has to be a menu thing. It's because it feels slightly worse to do it that way. Womp womp womp. And then I'm just gonna have some leftovers unless I use them. I probably I probably would use them in the production one night. Kyla has locked herself way in the back room while she focuses on the distilling. She won't let anyone in or out. Okay. Where's my G-roll? Greenway Cypher. I thought I spent one of my attempts on the G-roll thing. Did I imagine that? Maybe. Alright, so we're not going to get any more feedback from her for a while. I think these ships are still selling the same shit. Not even here. Alright, well it's a good thing I got that one started then, because it's going to take a bit. I have like two points. Yeah, I'm gonna need three the big bonuses so I can start just flattening these uh, obstacles. I thought I got G roll caps. Didn't I spend a six on it or something? Okay, there's a cap. I don't know what happened. Just lose track. Oh, because oh, a neutral outcome only gives you energy. With no caps. Unfortunate. Damn it, stop giving me energy. I need good things to happen. I, don't, I can't even use all this energy. Motherfucker. <laughs> Give me the caps! Oh, I don't want to risk a negative. I don't want to lose condition. Even though I do every day by wasting it here. Damn it. Wow, okay. So those are hard to get, surprisingly. The aviary. Clear the overgrowth. This is for form so I can farm my own. Once a corporate garden for impressing guests with gene tweaked birds, now this chamber is a mess of overgrowth. You can change that. Oh, it looks like it's always a plus. Just less or more. Plus and plus three. Cut away the choking vines, stop the rot, and this place could be turned back into a garden of sorts. Of sorts. Am I gonna make a shitty- yeah, oh yeah, negative, negative outcome is still a positive. I wish I'd wasted my resources there instead of the other thing. Apparently I gotta spend a goddamn six if I want to get a mushroom, because that dice- that coin flip's gonna keep screwing me. I'm gonna slowly bankrupt myself taking care of this cat. These are not great rolls. But I do get a second chance. What a powerful ability being able to re-roll. Especially when you can do it midway through. Give me a cap. Give me a cap. Thank you. Yeah, I don't I don't want to waste another attempt on a 50-50. It's too frustrating. Let's see what the aviary. And there's also twos. Oop. This should become a six. There we go. Second cap. I just... Did I just realize that I can right-click to quickly leave that menu? 
think I just did it on accident and realized I could, could be doing this the whole time. All right. Here you go, buddy. Emphis eagerly takes the bright yellow G-roll caps. He seems pleased with them. Another timer? In these three cycles. Emphis is working on gathering the ingredients and preparing the mushrooms. He doesn't like to rush these things. She's two in. I should maybe double check when the other thing is going to leave, because... Uh, everything good? Yeah. If I do get some kind of farm going, I might actually be able to have a sustainable source of, of money if you can sell it. As opposed to manually farming it. I'm already down a dice again? Man. That didn't last that long. My general approach is I figure I spend everything that's in the top half of the dice values and then I re-roll the remainder to see if I can turn those into the other side. I guess I come here the day of the event. I'm a little nervous about the fact that I can't see this without coming all the way up here every day. It's hard to keep track of how many cycles it's been. I'm a little surprised that it's already been half. Whoops. Yay! I'm being very methodical in a way that's maybe a little boring, but I'm just like, I need to... I need to take on these tasks one at a time if I can, because there's so many! Just so many tasks. Alright. Germinate spores. I do have some spores. The old growth of the aviary has created a rich medium into which you can pl uh, place spores from the groves. They'll grow well here. I'll need two more. The moist corners of the aviary make the perfect beds for spores. Once they are filled, they can be left to grow. Alright, well, let's try to get some better dice. Pfft, did those even change? Is it the same three numbers? Come on! Uh. Well, that fucking sucks. These are some, those are some really shitty dice rolls. And that went so poorly it went that way, huh? Let's go work at Minji. No. It's ne The only negative outcome here is that you make less money. If I'm correct. But you always get energy, even for a negative outcome. Which is pretty good. Is anyone pulling their hair out yet that I keep spending money on the stray while not actually generating any income? <laughs> Alright, music, calm down. Making me think something important is happening right now. Making me a little nervous. You're making me nervous! That's in two days, that's in three days, I think the... Oh, wait, I don't care about you. That's in one day. And then the thing upstairs takes off in three days. It is a really awful roll. So let's give it a go. Oh! Good goodness me! Oh, would you look at that? Let's go for the full plus two. There we go. Then I can get this done. four days to watch that grow. 
So after the departure of the ship. The spores need time to germinate and spread in the aviary. The indirect sun of a few cycles should help them along. My understanding is that this game has multiple endings. And when you get one of them, you can then just load your save and you'll be back before you got the ending and you just continue to see where else the story goes. Because you can actually like beeline for one of the, like like the Sidereal Horizon, for example. You could beeline for that directly with all of your efforts and I could have accomplished it like hours ago, probably. Uh, but I'm kind of going for everything and seeing where all the different branches of the story go instead. But those are all like all the different canonical, there's like multiple canonical ways your character can kind of end up. Feng. When you enter the service dock, Feng is already set up, crouched among stacks of equipment. He's leaning over a terminal, bathed in a blue glow. He looks totally at home. Sleeper, what do you think? Turns out not everyone in Haven had just set against me. A couple of my old systems pals managed to uh, ship me some of my old gear. Okay, I'm not crazy. There's a there's a typo. The quote ends here, but then he ke he keeps talking, and then the quote ends again. <laughs> I'm like, that's why my voice changed and stuff. I'm like, hang on a minute. I like, I like realized mid sentence that he was still talking. He gestures at the pile of blinking hardware. The mess is here. Feng laughs. Don't question the process, Sleeper. Any updates? Feng beckons you over. He has a set of scans of the wastes on his terminal. The heat maps of activity overlaid. A chunk of the derelict rim is blotchy with bright red and orange marks. Does this look like a wasteland to you? Feng shakes his head. There's hundreds of Conway machines out there, all lined up in concealed hangars and a whole underground facility to support them. Harden has got a crew out there putting them together. They must have shipped them in piece by piece through the shipyard, ready for assembly out there. Machines? That's Conway's whole thing. Remote operated vehicles, drones, cutters, salvage haulers, the full set. Maybe Harden masked this whole thing as an effort to clean up the wastes. But there's no way this is about pulling scrap off the eye. Fang looks worried. And why is Conway in the mix? I bet no one in Havenage knows another corporation is setting up, setting up on the station. They aren't stupid either. These scans are the best info I can get. The wastes are cut off from the eye's cloud of networks, and the gateway is a total dark zone. No data can come in or out. I can try. No use. You need to enter the cloud, and there's no cloud to speak of. He turns and winks. That's why I'm going to pay them a visit. How? You forget. Havenage come in and out of their old cycle. I should be able to get in, as long as no one knows who I, uh, no one I know sees me. He grimaces p playfully. But I need you on the outside to help disable security systems and cut me a pathway through. There's no cloud access, but if I can get inside, I can open up nodes in their network and I can get and, I, and we can work in tandem. It's a massive facility, buried deep down there. Miles of corridor and ventways wrapped around cargo bays and hangars. So it'll take more than a few cycles to work through it. But as long as you can get, uh, keep them off my back, I know I can rip what we need out of there. He pulls a handful of ripper worms from his pocket and hands them to you. These are the last of my little helpers I managed to salvage, so make them count. I modified them slightly, so this time they'll feed their data threads back into the system that they're tunneling into, creating a nasty little feedback loop. We run it just like we did with the agents. Hack the nodes I ping to locate the, the ports for the security system, then slot the worms into those systems and let them go to town. He points to a fuzzy silhouette of the buried facility on the terminal. Here's the entryway. This is where you can get access to this and slot the first worm. That'll fry their perimeter systems and get me past the first cordon. What I need from you is to keep your eyes on the facility after you kick things off. You see me pop up a security system, a server bank. You need to break in and slot a ripper to disable it as soon as you can. If I can't? Ben gives you a hard look. 
You miss the system? You wait too long? They're gonna find me. Simple as that. He claps you on the shoulder. I need to focus on this one. So I'm gonna let you fire that the I'm gonna let you fire the starting gun. I won't go until you slot the first worm. I'll leave a tracker running on the terminal here. So come back here if you want to see my progress. He affectionately pats the top of his screen. This sounds risky. Risky? This is audacious, at least. He grins. Wouldn't be worth it if it wasn't. Feng gets up. It's all in place. You just need to make your own preparations, then slot that worm. He stretches. Just don't wait too long. I'm getting bored of all this sneaking around. Once I'm inside, I'll get the proof we need to end this whole thing. No matter what. He crouches to check the terminal. We can't take longer than six cycles on this thing, remember that. He stands up. Oh, and one last thing. He lowers his voice. If I get caught, or you can't reach me, or we run out of time, there's one thing I need you to do. What? You take whatever I've, ma I've managed to pull at that point, all the data, you, and you slot that stuff straight into the relay I've set up here. He points to a pile of servers and terminals, hooked into the dock with cables as thick of, as your arm. I repurpose the dock's SOS broadcast system to beam out whatever, uh, whatever you put in it. Anyone with a terminal, a slate or a server on the eye will see it. Anyone with a terminal, a slate, or a server on the eye will see it. Is better conveyance. <laughs> That means Havenage, Yadigan, the hub, everyone. No matter what, Harden isn't sneaking away this time. He grins. I've got a bit more to do here. But the moment you slot that first worm in, I'll make my move. He gives you a parting smile and turns back to the terminal. The nerves hit you. The nerves hit as you make your way out of the surface dock. Time to prepare yourself. Hmm... Is there a time limit for starting it, though? He says six cycles once it's... Was it six cycles once it starts? I think it was. A little nervous about that. Hmm. The Haifa Commune. Do I want to go deeper, or do I want to... Hold off? There's the Waste. The Wild Margins. So I think the wastes are basically open space. Climbing Briar. The escaped ship. Wow, this goes really far. Yeah, I think this I think the wastes are open space. I was expecting like a desert, like a wasteland, obviously, given other contexts, but it's definitely something else. The entire greenway is locked down, surrounded in a dark cloud of shifting currents. What's happening here? I think I'm gonna give it a go. Neutral outcome question mark? The cipher burns away as it is slotted, the data sparking like a lit touch paper. What has been unlocked? The greenway roils beneath you like a silt-choked river. If what Navigator said was true, then no one has accessed these networks since the collapse. I got my wires crossed about which thing I was doing. The Hunter and Killer protocols have never set foot here, never cleared out the intelligences and systems. So, why then, you wonder, does it look so dark? Is it just that the bit rot has set in? The entropy of systems reducing everything to shadows and light? You watch as the slotted cipher fizzles in the open. It fizzles in the one open, distorted gateway of this entire rim of the station. It flickers and winks out, and then you're falling into the flow. A river of swirling darkness. You are spun by it, twisted by it, lost in it. It's not that the Greenway was hiding in the darkness. It is made of darkness. It is filled by this substance, this process the swarm now you are among it you notice that a swarm is exactly what it is a billion individuals moving in a flow there is no network map here no nodes and threads only a storm of entertain 
Only a storm of interchangeable points. Uh, shifting configuration endlessly. Then you see them. A figure, turned away. The only bright spot in the dark river. You push closer to the storm. The gardener. Ingrown farm administrator. They are facing away. At least you think so. They are so fractured, so overgrown that it is hard to tell. Even from this distance, you can see their flesh is moving, flowing. You watch, silent, as they stoop and reach down. In their hand is a dark shape, and with twisted fingers they press down into the, lo into the loam of data beneath them, pushing it through this trembling soil. They then move away, go a little further, and repeat the process, as if they were sowing a field. You push forward, but somehow, despite their slow and deliberate speed, they move faster, and they quickly fade into the storm. You reach the point where they planted the object and look down. There it is, a glassy, shifting polygon, and something inside. You reach down and pick it up. It is cold, but it thrums with energy. You look towards the path of the figure, but they are long gone. When you blink out of the cloud, back to the leaves and the dappled light of the greenway, you hold a seed in your hand. Hmm. The gardener's seed. A seed you need to find somewhere safe to plant this gift. Or a seed. You need to find somewhere safe to plant this gift. That's how someone would actually say that. Here we go. The ripper worm. What could go wrong? We. I probably plant the seed at the um at the place I've been clearing the cloud. As you slot the worm, a thread jumps out of the facility. It unspools in front of you, releasing its data like ink and water. Sleeper. Feng's voice crackles through. Moving in. Nodes, then ports, a whir of interference. Slot the worms. Timer starts now. Stay safe. The thread dissipates. You are on your own now. I have a three. Plus five crypto. Yay. F1 port located. There we go. Gotta keep plugging at this or we get in trouble. I have a four. A five, I only have a six. What is that? Is it saying that I could also get it with a three because of my skill now? That might be what it means. But I think I mostly just have to come back next to loop with the right number. For now, my other number probably has better uses. Can't plant the seed here yet. That even is the right spot. Service dock. Hmm. Gotta get that three before that six. That clock. It's tick. <laughs> 